Hello learners, this is Sam from Tag to Schooling and in this session of the video we are going to talk about the difference between the external and internal fertilization which is a really basic concept an easy concept to grab but we make sure to make it much more easy and little bit talk detail detail about it so let's be together with us to learn about the difference between external and the internal fertilization let's move ahead all right so actually we're going to start from the what is internal and external in fertilization we're pretty uh, made this thing and we're going to talk uh, on this slide so it makes it for you to easily take notes and easily grab the idea but we are going also going to talk uh, what is written in the in the video so the internal fertilization is when the male deposits his sperm directly into the female's body uh, which means the baby is going to be born the fertilization is going to occur inside the mother's mother's uh, mother's body all right it's not outside so in condition of the external fertilization uh, is actually is when the male and females gametes unite outside the female's body not inside the female body internal the word internal expands it all that internal means inside external is outside the female body you have to just put the female body beside, uh, beside internal and external fertilization so this is the really basic concept and understanding the internal and external uh, uh, external fertilization okay let's now talk a uh, little bit more about the internal and external fertilization all right so here are with uh, so here are we with another slide about the internal fertilization so actually there are three types of organisms that use internal fertilization to reproduce so number one that is written here about that is ovipar oviparous number two is viviparous and number three is ovo vivipar uh, porous all right so the oviparous they lay eggs that continue to develop for you know the uh, organisms which lay egg like chicken like duck so their fertilization is inside the body so m uh, male uh, male actually release their sperm inside the female's body so where the uh, where the these uh, eggs are developed and they where the fertilization occur which is inside the body so these are there is example oviparous the viviparous like human beings you know the the young stay in the female body until ready and the oviviparous are the lay eggs that hatch within the mother's body are we going to talk about the examples in just a bit about these all examples of these three uh, the oviparous viviparous and uh, ovo viviparous let's get to another slide and talk uh, this is the uh, an ancient diagram i guess this is bit uh, how this fertilization occur here the sperm and the ovum meet again uh, so um, let's move to another diagram that is the external fertilization so here what happens now let's move to another diagram that is the external fertilization so here what happens the male actually releases the sperm at the same time as the female releases eggs uh, it is not true that always the uh, it's actually the exact time but sometime uh, it, it, it worries about uh, sometime but it have to be somehow at the similar time because the cells uh, the cells are, are may, maybe can be destroyed so it have to be a similar time but it's not mandatory that it should be the same time so some sperm swim through the water in the process called the broadcast fertilization and get into contact with the eggs and egg get fertilized. So this is outside the body uh, of the uh, mother's womb, you know, uh, the best example is frog, uh, that, that is outside the body. But for external fertilization, uh, remember this one, uh, we'll be just going to talk about it again in the next slide, but just remember that uh, we need water, always, it, it could be a small water, little bit water, or it could be a lot of water, but we need some moisturization for this sperm to travel you know we uh, it's a sperm to travel so which is for the external external fertilization we still need water without on a dry place on the dry area it's impossible for the external fertilization to occur okay let's move to the other diagram this is the example uh, how uh, about the external fertilization you pretty get it all right okay move to another slide this is the condition of the internal and external fertilization so uh, internal fertilization, which is written that uh, sperm must be placed inside the female's body, you know, released by the gamete, by the sperm, by the male, and in the same, uh, in the water environment, you can see that it is written that external, in external fertilization, the sperm must be released in the watery environment, and 
both the sperm and egg should meet in that water environment and we in the final we the both the unit of egg and uh, they get together the species must be same and uh, finally they meet together and a baby is formed which is after fertilization let's talk about another diagram okay and let's move to the advantage and disadvantages of the internal fertilization uh, probably not uh, that much but uh, Advantages are probably high chance of offspring. Offspring will survive pretty good. Requires more energy to find a mate. Yeah, that's right. We, there are organisms which are having internal fertilization. They require more energy to find a mate. Uh, Disadvantages are they have few zygotes. The best example is human being. You know, it's uh, very few uh, very few zygotes we have and require more energy to find a mate. That's, that's also uh, a big problem. Let's move to another. I don't know why why we have written both. Uh, both times in the same same thing but get over it let's move to another slide uh, this is the same slide just uh, show up and advantages and disadvantages of the external fertilization all right in here we explained that uh, the advantages are little energy required to find a mate because you are going to release your sperm or ovum in the water so you don't have to worry about finding a mate so large numbers of offspring are produced that's a very beneficial oh, that's that's an important point uh, um, you know some organism producing millions. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm real. I'm talking real millions of eggs and millions of sperms are produced inside the watery You know, that's a huge adv uh, advantage because a lot in this condition a lot of sperms and uh, uh, Eggs are destroyed so they need to produce a lot to keep their uh, Species alive and the disadvantages are embryos are, un are unprotected. That's why I talked about they have to produce a lot to uh, to get us get a little bit closer to the saving their species so they have to produce a lot so because their embryo is unprotected and restricted to eight environment all right uh, that's it about the advantage and disadvantages of the okay 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 just get back get back get back to this one animals that uses internal fertilization uh, we talked about it that is oviparous they produce eggs called most birds and reptiles viviparous all mammals including hum humans because we have the embryo inside the human body and oviviviparous that is bows and bit pit vipers you don't know what is that okay uh, we're going to show the diagram this is what uh, the uh, oviparous look like you know you can see the eggs another one is uh, this is the oviparous laying eggs uh, this is the viviparous human beings an example and this is the OVV Paris that is about example of the snack which produces egg and here we got the animals that use external fertilization so we got uh, mostly they're mostly aquatic because we have to already talked about they need water so they have to be nearby water or in the water so mostly aquatic aquatic animals example sea urchin almost all aquatic invertebrates and some vertebrate including the majority of fishes and amphibians so I have given an example of the amphibian that is the frog that uses this external fertilization so this is all about the external and internal fertilization. If you think you need to understand anything much more in detail about any topic, please make sure to comment us and let us know that we can make a topic easy for you. And keep visiting Tags Schooling.